Pimeroni have just announced their new Inky developer platform and I've managed to get my hands on the 5.7 inch 7 color display board and the Raspberry Pi host board. For those of you who aren't new to the channel you'll recognize that display from the Inky impression video I did a while back and essentially these two boards are just the Inky impression but split in two. Get subscribed so you don't miss out on future videos and let's get started. So I'm actually filming this a few weeks before Pimeroni are planning on announcing the new products and the reason for that is Inotech where I work have basically collaborated together to turn this concept into a reality. We decided initially to launch one host board for the Raspberry Pi and one display board, the 5.7 inch 7 color display, because Pimeroni already have this working with their Inky impression board that I mentioned before. The intention going forward is to launch more display boards with more color variations and size options and also more host boards to support a range of platforms. But the idea of Inky Developer is to allow you to add an e-ink display to your project in the simplest way possible. The two boards come with a crimped cable so that you can easily connect the two to get started, but the pins are also broken out on both boards if you wanted to solder wires to them instead. You can of course get rid of the host board altogether if you're using a platform that isn't supported. The other nice thing about how Inky Developer works is that unlike the existing Inky products, you aren't attaching your display directly on top of your Raspberry Pi. Obviously those boards are a really nice setup if you're looking to create something that's compact and self-contained, but you now have the option to separate the two if your enclosure doesn't have the space to fit both in, or whatever it might be. So if we start by looking at the display board, we obviously have the display mounted to the front, I'm not going to go into too much detail about the display itself since I've covered this in depth in my Inky impression video, but underneath it the PCB has this awesome picture on it and I think these will ship with the display stuck down like the other Inky boards, so I don't think anyone will ever see this which is why I wanted to show it to you now because I think it looks awesome. We also have four M2.5 mounting holes so you can screw the display to your enclosure and then four buttons and four RGB LEDs down the side. These are daisy chainable APA102 LEDs that Pimeroni use on quite a few of their products, so there's already libraries out there to support them. There's an onboard IO expander that is connected to the host I2C bus, and the buttons, LEDs, and a power switch for the display are all connected to that. But the display's control signals and SPI lines are connected directly to the host. On the back you can see the connector so you can connect a cable to the host board, and as I mentioned before, you've also got those pins broken out. And since the LEDs are daisy chainable, the clock and data lines are also broken out in case you want to connect more LEDs to that bus. The host board is fairly simple. You've got a connector for the cable that goes to the display, the same pins broken out, and then a load of the Raspberry Pi's other GPIO, because obviously this hat blocks access to those pins. So there you have it, I'll leave a link in the description below on where to buy the Inky developer from and I'll also leave a link to Pimeroni's GitHub so that you can access their Inky library as well. But if you have any questions then leave them down below. Big thank you to Pimeroni for sending me these boards when they did. Although this was a collaboration with Inaltech, those guys did literally everything and seeing how it turned out that was probably for the best. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you guys in the next one.